Welcome to the 2021 Pinnacle Awards. This event, yes, we're here. Welcome outdoors to a beautiful venue called Cohab Space. It is a beautiful evening, is it not? This event would not be possible without the help and support of our sponsors. International Market Centers, Furniture Today, Elements Studios, High Point Market Authority, woo -hoo. <laughs> Continental Hardware, they're back there somewhere, they, there they are. Furniture Design Studios, Sherwin-Williams is out there somewhere, and Pinnacle Financial Partners, we all know them if we have our bank account straight. Please give them all a round of applause. We're here tonight not only to celebrate great designs and the designers who create them, but to celebrate our larger home furnishings industry community. Little gestures make a big difference. And if nothing else, the 25th Pinnacle Awards moves the collaborative needle further ahead within our industry family. And that's what we want to have happen. Starting with tonight's event, we are going to invite the local community to the Pinnacle Awards from now till forever. And we appreciate them being here tonight. Let's give them a round of applause. Welcome, High Point. <laughs> this evening also marks the first time one of the major industry events has invited our, this local community member and all of our members to share a celebration like this. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you all to Cohab Space. Community, a group of people with a common cause, ideals, or interests. Our journey starts in a place far removed from where we are today. A place where friendships were real, but partnerships were rare and often superficial. The International Society of Furniture Designers was born during this time, an organization seeking to bridge the divide between designers and others, creating a meaningful and lasting community that fosters growth, support, and collaboration throughout our industry. The road to tonight wasn't straight, nor was it straightforward, but we are here in a very different and more auspicious place. We are celebrating all that the word community infers. Consequential relationships, shared vision, a spirit of collaboration, and yes, partnership. We welcome you to our new world, 25 years in the making. Thank you, John. Hey, everybody. Let's take a minute to reflect on the past two years it's been since we've been able to do this and gather together. A global pandemic, economic struggles, natural disasters, racial injustices, resilience, hope, community. This year, communities all over have come together in truly beautiful ways. We've navigated the way we work, live, and socialize. Now, that's something remarkable and worth celebrating. I'm so proud to be president of ISFD as we continue to make a difference in our industry and our community. I want to thank you all for coming together tonight and to honor great design and congratulations to all our nominees. This is Steve Wilcox, our president-elect. <laughs> you want to say a few words? Very quickly, can I separate the crowd into the movers over here and the shakers on the other side? You know, I am, I am constantly amazed at the dynamic people and the products that the companies and that the, uh, you know, the people that work uh, in the factories in this industry and the creatives create. Um, so 
I have just been amazed at the amount of optimism and creativity that I've seen the last few days here. And of course, ISFD is a great organization to represent uh, some of those creatives, certainly not everyone. We'd like more, perhaps. But anyway, if you're finally tonight, and we're going to move on, if you're a student, raise your hand. I can't see anybody, so if you're a student here, please raise your hand. If, if you are an industry professional, please note one or two of those students and go talk to them. And students, go talk to some of these industry professionals that you're surrounded by. They are an amazing group of people. So everybody, thank you, and congratulations to everybody who will be winning tonight, and the nominees. And ladies and gentlemen, someone who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway, the editor-in-chief of Furniture Today, Bill McLaughlin. Thank you, John. At least I didn't trip on the way up. I'm very pleased about that. It's nice to almost see all of you out there. I feel like I've been in a time capsule for the last two years. Um, if you would like to take some pictures and post on social media tonight, we have a number of hashtags. If you're under 25 with strong thumbs, hashtag 2021 ISFD Pinnacle Awards. If you're over 25, your thumbs are not so strong, try hashtag ISFD community. If you love the high point market, let me hear you. All right. Hashtag HPMKT. If you love design at high point, hashtag design on HPMKT. This is longer than most of the speeches you'll hear tonight. If you love design, hashtag High Point X Design. Hashtag Fall Market. And if you want to dramatically increase your followers, hashtag Bregan Jane. So let me bring up our speaker, our first speaker, acclaimed international designer, HGTV star, and just an absolutely wonderful, kind, and sweet person, hashtag Regan Jane. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Bill. Please do not hashtag yet. I haven't even started speaking. And first, I want to ask, how is everyone doing? Because I've been walking around 12 million square feet, and I want to know if anyone else's feet are dying. Sydney, yours? OK. Well, you know, it's style over everything, but I feel like I'm among friends here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get real and ground myself before I start talking. Because, you know what? Actually, function is celebrated here, so hopefully none of you will judge me. I am very grateful to look out and see a lot of my friends here today. Luckily, functionality here is celebrated as much as beauty, and for that, I say thank you. I see you, friends, and I love being surrounded by artists <laughs> with all these wacky big glasses and great necklaces. The hallways of these buildings are a fashion show in themselves, so please don't judge me. <laughs> um, we are the people designing the world. And that is no small task, so I'm going to do it comfortable if that's okay with you. <laughs> a friend's mother, who is a fellow designer, is quoted to say, the world is very small, but I wouldn't want to paint it. Design is a process of endurance. It is an art that not only celebrates the visual, but is the process of creating. Something that was once just a thought in our heads is something through beauty that first exists just as an idea in our minds. And I could sit here and talk to you about color theory for hours or how a simple curve brings an inanimate object a personality. We've all seen it this week. Um, but I would like to talk to you today briefly about home. And what is home? Um, when I say home, I'm sure you all have a thought, whether it's your mother's hug or a longing for that feeling. Um, it's, it's, you know, sometimes just your favorite hotel sheets that you want to bring to your home and wonder where they got them and 
we all know they got them here. <laughs> um, but that's not my point. Here we come together, and we come together a group of 70, almost 80,000 people together to create spaces that feel like home. And some of us, High Point feels like home, and I see friendly faces here that have been amazing to catch up with and to hug. The hugs have been my favorite part. It's been a long time. But home for me at times, and maybe for you in the last year, has been where you've experienced angst. And when you did, at least when I did, I, I sat on my couch, maybe gave up, and I wrapped myself in a soft, warm blanket um, and just sort of gave up. But then I thought about that blanket being a part of this industry and the fibers that were spun somewhere. And the color choice, we know, was very intentional, probably inspired by a designer and her trip to nature. Um, but the execution and the meetings that were had over that softness that I felt, it was no accident, and we all know that. And I could go further. I could go to the bed you sleep on, the nightstands that hold your phone, your connection to the entire world. Our spaces hold us. They carry us. They are something many of us put a lot of time and effort into to impress you, to impress you so you can feel welcome in our home when you walk through that door. And in a moment where division feels like it's trying to win, I want to use today and this room as a wonderful example of the connective tissue of the vulnerability of design. We didn't invent it but it's in us, or at least it's in me inherently. And I'm sure it was for the human that stumbled across silks of India for the first time and sent ship after ship just to share its beauty. In design, we honor our past. If you think about it, our whole existence is in finding better design. And during that process, I think we find a better world and we are creating diversity. I have kids, I have social media, thank you Bill for pointing it out. Um, both of these things make me a very busy person, but that's not my point either. I heard a story on my phone of a simple conversation between a mother and her son, and she simply had an innocent recount of history. Um, I'm sure it was a bedtime story, I do those with my kids. And she said to him, Neil Armstrong invented the moon. And the son said, no, mommy, he didn't invent the moon. The moon was always there. That would be silly. And I want to say here to the wanderers who dare to go find beauty, thank you. And to my friends and colleagues here who put pen to paper to actually create it, thank you as well. I feel like art is inside all of us, and we in this room just can't stop sharing it. And this industry, to me, makes the action of something as simple as sitting on a couch a defiant act in connecting the world through creativity and the physical creation itself so that tangible items can feel like home. It is through design's celebration of beauty and its incessant internal pull of curiosity that this industry exists, and that I am wonderfully proud to be a part of. So some of you may know me from TV in your home, probably talking about some chandelier that pops, who knows. But what I want to share with you today is that my internal drive to nerd out through the hallways of these buildings is rooted in my desire to make somebody feel at home and to introduce them to the best versions of themselves, to push past their ideas of the same, and to make them smile. So, <laughs> when we reach for that blanket, when I did, somehow the entire world is holding us in that moment. So, design is a form of form and function. Thank you for uh, letting me prove that. <laughs> but it is inclusion at its inception. It is a diverse community of people coming together to create. They create home through community. I'm Bregan. I am very happy to be here. So let's cheers to the design community, to the beauty of furniture and its ability to make all of us feel at home, even when we're not.
I'm not putting them back on. Neither am I. <laughs> I have been waiting for somebody to do that up here for the longest time. You are awesome. Thank you. Um, and that's as far as it's going. So it's time to give out some awards. That's why we're all here. Uh, before we do, I, want, I just want to say there are only winners here tonight. The designs that you're going to see and that you're going to recognize tonight are some of the finest in the industry and they represent some amazing hard work by incredibly talented people. So before we do anything else, I'd like to just take a second and give all of our honorees and all of our nominees tonight a good round of applause, please. So let's bring up our first presenter of the night and give out our first award. Our first category this evening is in lighting and our first presenter is Diane Falvey, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture, Lighting, and Decor. So I'm not taking my boots off because if I do, I will never get them back on after walking 12,000 12, steps today. Um, I, John, John, I'm, I'm here to present the awards for lighting and accessories. John earlier talked about community and every community has a foundation. And every foundation then has different people that come into that community to create a larger community. And I started to think about this when I'm presenting for lighting and accessories. Furniture may be the foundation of a space, but it doesn't become a home or a room if you don't have those pieces that speak to the people and light the way. So lighting and accessories are an important part of the home community. On that said, let's go on to the nominees. I got it. So the nominees for lighting are Golden Lighting's Whalen Five Light by Teddy Ferracho for Golden Lighting. The Luminous Onyx Floor Lamp by Philips Collection Design Team for Philips Collection. The Theater Pendant by Mike Scribner for Mike Scribner Designs. And in my book, you're all winners. But the winner of the 2021 Pinnacle Awards is the Luminous Onyx Floor Lamp by Philips Collection Design Team, ISFD for Philips Collection. Congratulations. The functional Luminous Onyx Floor Lamp becomes a sculpture as it stunningly lights up a room. It still works as a functional piece of art when unlit. The scale is perfect for a tight space. It is sure to command your attention. Just beautiful. I'll hold this for you guys while you speak. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Congratulations. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Congratulations, all of you. So the trend is community this year, and that is exactly how it was for Phillips Collection. Um, this past year, we've really delved together as a community within our own company and have collaborated a lot um, with our design team. And so that's why this year, we are accepting this award as a team. And everyone has put their effort in and thank you. Thank you all. OK, so the second category of the night is accessories. And in accessories, we have two finalists. We have Cast Women Sculptures by Phillips Collection Design Team, ISFD for Phillips Collection, and Samal Screen by Amy Kersner, ISFD for Curry and & Company. And the winner of the Accessories Design Award is Cast Women Sculptures by Phillips Collection Design Team, ISFD for Phillips Collection. I hope you guys haven't gone far. <laughs> the unique and abstract sculptural forms of the women are engaging as both art and physical objects within space. The sculpture's varying heights help to define the area and add interest with a feminine touch to any design aesthetic. Absolutely beautiful. 
This is quite a moment. Our inspiration were the tectonic plates colliding in Indonesia, having stone splinter off, and working with partners who sculpted traditional scenes of proud women and men walking home from a day of work. It's, I hope, a way we can all capture the beauty that occurs in collision and the forces of nature, and we are much honored. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you're coming up here at some point to accept an award, just fair warning, there's a brick, it's about this big, watch your step. And get your cameras ready, because at least a 60% chance I'm going. Okay, our next award is in the bedroom category, and our presenter is Dawn Brinson, Vice President, Strategic Marketing, The Media Matters, and President-Elect of IFDA. Good evening, everyone. Um, what a lovely evening we have here um, tonight and a, and a wonderful opportunity to be together. Community is important in our industry. It has been something that we've yearned for for such a long time. I've been in the industry quite a long time, and we're finally realizing our potential. At IFDA, we're proud that we are the longest continuously operating organization for men and women in all facets of the home furnishings industry. We're getting ready to celebrate our 75th anniversary next year, and we invite you to participate with us. So if you're in any part of the industry, in the C-suite, if you're a student, if you're a designer, or you're an educator, or you're in the media, IFDA is for you. Now, let's get to the bedroom category. We have wonderful finalists. Dovetail Bedroom Collection by Dudley Moore, ISFD. Will Moore, ISFD, for Vaughn Bassett. Pinstripe Bedroom Collection by Christopher San Domenico, ISFD, for Caracol. Lux Bedroom Collection by Michelle De La Rasa for Caracol. Sullivan King Bedroom by Paul DeLays for Varellen Inc. Walnut Grove Upholstered Bed by Marissa Brown for Stickley. And Modern Collection Bedroom by Dudley Moore, ISFD. Lenny Chapman, ISFD for Universal Furniture. And the pinnacle will go to Pinstripe Bedroom Collection by Christopher San Domenico, ISFD for Caracol. The inspiration? Parisian storefronts that seem to repeat the decorative element of slanted design panels. It's a perfect testament to the bed's design and its accompanying pieces. As a society that has not been able to travel much, finding inspiration in France, then incorporating it into today's living is a welcome breath of fresh air. We absolutely loved the bed and thought the finish on the case pieces was outstanding and perfectly paired with the hardware. It provided a healthy dose of refined glamour. It really is heavy. Um, well, thanks, ASFD, for furniture designers putting this on, John Conrad all last year, or last six months, every six months feels like a year, um, it was all remote. Um, this is a nice thing that everyone's doing. I love the campfires and the community up in this place. Um, the uh, bed, this was one of those things that I heard there were young up and coming designers out there thinking about entering this industry. Maybe at a time you thinking ahead of the times so if you have things that you think are good, you hold on to them and you really try to push them and then eventually people start falling in. And this is a work of many people's work 
Amy, thank Buddy, Michelle figured out how to make this KD. Everyone involved, all of our team, Markor as well, and some of our friends that we do miss as well. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Our next category is occasional storage. John, what is it the rest of the time? Um, and our presenter for the category is Mark Schumacher, CEO of the Home Furnishings Association. Oh, no, please, please, please remain seated. Um, first and foremost, I just have to make one comment. I've not listened to John's uh, podcasts, etc., cetera, um, but John Conrad has the sexiest voice of any man that I know. Um, I want to just make one comment, especially since we have a lot of students here. Back in August of last year, I was blessed to take over as CEO of the Home Furnishings Association. I had a lot of people that said, wow, what a bummer. What a terrible time to take over any entity in any sort of connection to retail when we're in the middle of a pandemic. And I have said to everybody that's ever said that how wrong they are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best opportunity this industry has ever had to respond to a world that has a focus on home like we have never seen before. For you students out there, the opportunities are endless because in every major issue like this, we can always find opportunity. And there's a ton of opportunity right now. It's difficult, supply chain, everything else. We can sit here and get depressed about a lot of things going on. But the focus on home right now has never been what it is. And this is something to take advantage of. And what a beautiful thing to do here tonight to really realize that it starts with beautiful design. And I think the designers have just um, taken a hold of this opportunity and run with it. And I am proud to be a part of this event and proud to um, really honor them. So let's talk about occasional, thank you. <laughs> okay. So the nominees in the occasional storage um, portion of our Pinnacle Awards here is um, Alvarez Entertainment Credenza by Bernhardt Case Goods, design team for Bernhardt. Also, Seacliff Edigier by Justin uh, Aby for, yes, thank you, Justin, for, for noting that, for uh, Selamat Designs. Also, Lanula Entertainment Credenza by Bernhardt Case Goods, design team for Bernhardt. Also, Top Shelf Bar by Caracol, design team for Caracol. Thank you. And also, Cloud9 Lift Coffee Table. And as a coffee hound, I love that, by Matthew Weatherly for BDI. And... Let's see, do I, I didn't get my, oh, thank you. The envelope, please. And in the occasional storage area, we're recognizing tonight Top Shelf Bar by Caracol Design Team. For Caracol, come on up. With the proliferation of bar carts in today's interiors, this one sets the bar high. The unfolding bar offers maximum storage along with display, presentation, and serving space. It is a refreshing nod to the portable bars of the 50s. The natural wood grain intersecting with metal supports is stunning and sets the stage for a contemporary or mid-century modern look. Well, I can't take credit for the design, but on behalf of the team, I will. Um, as we talk about generations, people come and people go in our industry. One of our former designers created this design, <clears throat> and we built upon it and brought it to the market. So... Thank you, Tim, for your contribution. Thank you for the team who really believed in creating an organic feel and helped us bring this uh, to the marketplace. And to all those young designers, as Christopher said a moment ago, dream big, hold on to those dreams, and bring those dreams into us because we need your energy, we need your youth, and we need your help. Thank you. I have heard that those of you in the back are having trouble hearing us. Is that true? Just give me a shout. Yes, okay. So presenters, please speak up. And winners, when you come up, please lean in a little bit. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay. Our next category is entertainment furniture. 
And our next presenter is the fabulous Libby Langdon, owner of Libby Interiors. Let's do this, people. How glad are we to be back? Come on. Well, I'm really excited to be presenting the entertainment category. And honestly, entertainment has changed for us. We haven't been going out to concerts. We haven't been going out to the theater. We haven't been going out to movies. So entertainment had to happen at home. I think a lot of times we did entertain at home, but we didn't realize the importance of the items that we use to entertain at home. So this category celebrates that in a very big way. So here are the nominees. Ambiance by Michael W. Robinson, ISFD, for J. Troyer and Company. Quietin by Bruce M. Schutinger, P-A-A-I-C-I-S-F-D for Mozart, Inc. Walnut Grove Entertainment Console, Bookcase, Gathering Island, and Counterstool by Marissa Brown for Stickley. Martine Bar Cabinet by Marissa Brown for Stickley. And let's face it, how many of us did make a home bar? And the winner is, in the entertainment furniture category, Walnut Grove Entertainment Console, Bookcase Gathering Table, and Counter Stool by Marissa Brown for Stickley. Classic simple lines make this one a beauty to be enjoyed for many years to come. The walnut wood makes the design substantial as the rounded corners soften the look. Beautiful finish and function. Well, thank you so much. It's a huge honor to be here tonight. It's been such a, an amazing event and um, connecting with people in the industry. I just want to say it's been incredible. It's been incredible three and a half years at Stickley, working for a company that has such a rich history. Um, I learned about the Stickley brothers when I was at school at Rhode Island School of Design. I have a passion for design, and I really do want to thank the Audi family, Amini Audi and Edward Audi, for allowing me the trust and um, just believing in me with new designs. So thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Congratulations. You got the heavy award in this. Good to see you. Good to see you. These guys have the hard work. These things weigh a ton. They're both going to be like muscled up. Our next award is in the category of home office furniture, and our presenter was voted best bow tie in furniture 2021. Please welcome Andy Counts, CEO of the American Home Furnishings Alliance. Good evening, High Point. Thank you, Bill. For those in the back that cannot hear, there's plenty of room up here. We got two open bars. So move on up, have a good time. For those of you who aren't familiar with the American Home Furnishings Alliance, we are the voice of furniture manufacturers, importers, and suppliers. And we are certainly humbled to represent such a fantastic industry. We've got several of our members here tonight and a lot of the great designers that make product for them. I tell you, I'm torn by this list of nominees. I've gone around to each one and said, I could be like Steve Harvey for a price. I can make either one of you a winner. So uh, nobody took me up on it. So we're going to be a fair contest. Tonight's honor nominees in home office are Elysio Workspace Collection by Bernhardt Case Goods Design Team and Dudley Moore, ISFD, Laura Neese, ISFD for Bernhardt. Beauty Bar double-booked natural choice armchair by Christopher Santamenico, ISFD, and Roger Turnbow, ISFD for Caracol. The Martine Vanity Desk by Marissa Brown for Stickley. The Aster Writing Desk by Amy Kersner, ISFD for Curry and Company. 
and Cologne by Alec Eglinton for Flex Steel. Tonight's winner is The Aster Writing Desk by Amy Kersner, ISFD for Curry and Company. The Aster Writing Desk puts its own spin on timeless design with classic lines, turned legs, with antique brass ferrules, antique brass pulls, and a beautifully soft, creamy finish that is neutral enough for any style. The drawer lining adds to its luxury details. Well thought out, rendition, and execution. She had to catch a train, so I'm accepting on her behalf this evening. So, congratulations. Thank heavens for small blessings. Our next presenter is going to come up and share two categories with us, dining and occasional tables luxury. So please let me introduce the amazing Lori Kelly, principal of Lori Kelly Advisors and with it, 2021 president. Hi everyone, I can't see you, but I know you're out there. So aren't, I, have to, I have to echo what Libby said. Isn't it amazing that we're all back here in High Point together? It's great, right? Awesome. Awesome. And, and it also, um, I love what John said when he positioned this event, which is all of these organizations that we're all so proud to be a part of in this industry are really good together. And we're really good in community. And the same is true with With It. You know, Pinnacle Awards are celebrating their 25th anniversary. And you know what? Next year, With It celebrates our 25th anniversary. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> And if you're not familiar with With It, you got to talk to me or our executive director, Amy Van Dorp, because I've been a member of this amazing organization for 18 years, been in this industry a bit longer than that. And I can tell you it has made a huge difference for me. I can tell you for fact that we're the premier networking, mentoring, and educational uh, organization in the home furnishings industry for professional women. And we are truly the champions of women. So it's a pleasure to be here on behalf of, of With It tonight. <clears throat> All right, on to the awards. I have the opportunity to present on dining and occasional tables luxury. So in the dining category, we have the Constantine Dining Table with Anzu Dining Chairs by Bernhardt Case Goods Design Team for Bernhardt. We have Silhouette by Auto and More Design Team, ISFD, and the Bernhardt Design Team for Bernhardt. Portfolio 120 Yarrow Dining Table by Marissa Brown for Stickley. And the Modern Farmhouse by Dudley Moore, ISFD, Laura Nice, ISFD for Universal Furniture. And the winner is, it's like the Oscars, so much fun. <clears throat> the Constantin Dining Table with Anzu Side Chairs by Bernhardt Case Goods Design Team for Bernhardt. We were fascinated with the use of mid-century artist Brancusi to create stacking geometric shapes for this table base. The contrast of such sculptural forms to the soft curves of the dining chairs creates just the right tension. A modernist dream in alluring cast resin, this sculptural base brings depth and dimension to dining rooms and breakfast nooks alike. I'll be very short and sweet. Thanks to the entire Bernhardt design team. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was extremely short and sweet. Good job. <clears throat> All right, our next category, Occasional Tables Luxury Division. We have the Whitley Table Collection by Scott Coley, ISFD, and Steve Joyner for Bernhardt. We have the Tegan Cocktail Table by Bernhardt Case Goods Design Team for Bernhardt. We have the Olive Nesting Tables by Paul DeLays for Varellen Inc. And we have the Galen Cocktail Table by Dudley Moore, ISFD, Laura Nice, ISFD. Lenny Chapman, ISFD, for Universal Furniture. And the winner is. 
The Olive Nesting Tables by Paul DeLays for Varel and Inc. We were impressed with the stunning showcase of the wood grain and the delightful approach to a pair of companion tables that feels at once rustic and refined. Like a whole cheering section up there. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Great job. Oh, no, no, Paul. Come on, come on. There you are. Now you got to say something. Money? That's right. Money. Speech. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> this is Brandon, our uh, VP of. Uh, Development. <laughs> this is uh, this is a really humbling experience. So thank you for all those that cast a vote. And uh, what Paul always says is that there's a world of questions out there, and uh, he likes to provide answers. There you go. That's it. Thank you. All right. Now you know what they mean when they say it takes a village. Our next category is such a great category that we're going to have two presenters. Double the fun. This is like a drive-in movie theater. We have a double feature. I'm the Bugs Bunny cartoon. I'd like to bring up Mr. Ray Allegreza, IFRA Executive Director, and John Pinion, President of IFRA's Executive Committee and a very successful independent rep to present the award for stationary upholstery. What a pleasure to be here and what a great night. Before we talk about the great nominees and announce the winner, I just want a brief comment to the students in the room Please stay with us. We need your passion. We need your insight. We need your designs. Forget about out of the box. Burn the box and bring it. All right? We need you. Tonight's nominees for stationary upholstery. Oakley by Paul DeLees for Varellen Inc. Sea Cliff Slipper Chair by Justin A.B. ISFD for Salamont Designs. Rowan Sectional Sofa by Paul Delalise for Varellen Inc. And the Pablo Swivel Chair by Bernhardt Upholstery Design Team for Bernhardt. And the envelope, please. And the winner is for stationary upholstery, Rowan Sectional Sofa by Paul Delalise. We were crushing on this sexy sectional and its interesting back detail along with a sprawling seat base making it the perfect place to cozy up. It is raw yet refined, a nice combination of wood frame and neutral fabric and of the moment piece that straddles trends with timelessness. Again, thank you, and here's Thomas Varela. <laughs> he just makes it really easy to sell the stuff, so that's all I'm here for. Thank you. So much humility, so much talent. Congratulations. Um, I just take a, I would like to take a second to recognize and to thank all of our judges. It is not easy to select from so much wonderful furniture and so many fine designs. So let me quickly, before the train comes, say thank you to our judges. We really appreciate your work. And let's get right to the next category. Our next presenter is Caitlin Peterson, Editor-in-Chief of Business of Home, to present outdoor and, what is this? Maker designer. Sounds like he's sticking me with the train. Is it? Is it coming? 
Um, it's so wonderful to see all of you here tonight in this setting, right? Around a glowing fire, you've got a drink in your hand, you're surrounded by friends, there's some lights twinkling in the trees, is truly what outdoor living is all about. And the nominees in this next category have really created the situation for us to truly embrace and live our best lives outdoors. So I am thrilled to announce the nominees in the outdoor category. We have the Casual Modular System by Carlo Basso for CB Design, the Madura Sofa by the Bernhardt Exteriors Design Team for Bernhardt, the Coquille Tables by the Bernhardt Exterior Design Team for Bernhardt, and the Coastal Living Outdoor Collection by Dudley Moore, Laura Neese, and Lenny Chapman for Universal Furniture. And this year's Pinnacle Award for Outdoor Furniture goes to the Coastal Living Outdoor Collection. Dudley Moore, Laura Neese, and Lenny Chapman for Universal Furniture. It's intriguing that the designers combine so many styles, materials, and finishes into this collection, making it feel well collected and curated, the way many consumers want to live today, but do not have the expertise to do it on their own. This collection makes it easy to achieve that luxe cool factor. The sleek, streamlined table is the perfect foil to woven chairs with an abundance of personality. It's a brilliant, elevated collection of options, each better than the next. We're really grateful for this and um, actually stunned. Um, Laura, Lenny, nor I had ever designed outdoor furniture until this collection came along, and uh, so it's been an education for us. We're very grateful to Universal for the opportunity, um, and I'm particularly grateful to my partners here for their great talent. I'm just lucky to be along for the ride. Thank you all so much. <laughs> The next category is maker and designer. This is a room of artists and this is an evening to celebrate your craft. So I am especially excited to announce the nominees in this category. They are the Duke Ellington Credenza by Joy Williams for Genus, Porta de Sol by Bruce Schuttinger for Mozart, Bull's Collapsible Table by Joseph Holmes, and Lil Betsy by Scott Stevens for Radical Roots Studio. And tonight's winner in the maker designer category is the Bulls Collapsible Table by Joseph Holmes for Joseph Holmes. Congratulations. We were swayed by the unique details and structure of this table. Stunning in its versatility and craftsmanship, this piece is also a nod to traditional American carpentry techniques and a brilliant solution for small and flex spaces. Hi, this is Joseph Holmes. Um, I'm coming to you from my studio at the University of Nebraska. Um, and I just wanted to thank the ISFD so much, um, just honestly, to be considered for this. Um, looking through all the other entrants, um, I was just blown away. Um, it's not hyperbole, hyperbole or cliche, but you just, it's just such an honor to be considered alongside these people. So thank you so much. And thank you for putting on um, this award for small uh, designer makers like myself. Um, also thanks to John Conrad for um, all his patience with me um, throughout the process. And um, yeah, I just, I really wish I could be there. You know, sometimes this thing we do is kind of solitary and, um, it just really pains me that I'm not there to be able to celebrate and meet and interact with all these other talented, interesting people doing uh, this thing that we do. So I don't know, thank you so much, bye-bye. Congratulations, Joseph. All right, who's messing with me here? I mean, it, I get up, the train comes, I rush off, the train goes away. What's the deal? <laughs> All right. Our next category is home textiles, and we have dual presenters. So I'd like to introduce Jane Dagmy, Editor-in-Chief of Designers Today, and, ooh, a following. 
and Carrie Dillon, Managing Director of the International Textile Alliance. Thank you. In the spirit of community, we are excited to be here tonight to introduce the inaugural winner of the Home Textiles category. And we were saying it is such a monumental event, this new category, that it takes two presenters to do it. The finalists are? Are the pictures up? Yeah. OK, excellent. OK. The finalists are Eisen in the color Oyster by Wesley Mancini. Edward Rahacek and Linda Alley for Valdez Weaver, circa 1801. Bauman, Color Twine by Wesley Mancini, Edward Rahacek uh, for Valdez Weavers. Stardust with Champagne Gold by Aviva Shafour for Aviva Stanoff Design. And On the Grid by Kim Grimsley for Millican and Company. And the winner is? I'm going to open it. She's going to read it. I like the opening. Bauman, Color Twine by Wesley Mancini and Edward Riachek for Valdez Weavers, circa 1801. The level of design mastery and attention to detail is exceptional. This fabric shows wonderful depth and dimension. Its versatility is remarkable and works well as a body cloth, a chair cloth, or even a pillow. Um, can you hear me? First, um, in our community topic, I want to talk about diversity, inclusion, and equity. In my part of the industry, it's textiles and the furniture companies that upholster. And there's an extreme lack of diversity, equity, and inclusion in our industry. And I'm really happy to say that the International Textile Alliance has started a committee focusing on exactly that. So in regard to this award, um, I started designing fabric 43 years ago. And at the time, it was a very traditional market. And my competition uh, was American Mills only. Today, there's not a thread of um, tradition out there, and the competition is on a global scale of mills from around the world. So as a designer, we have to uh, create things that are for the tastes of our market and the trends of today. And um, this award makes me feel like I have evolved as a designer to meet those demands. Thank you. I am ready for her to come up. I'd like to bring back Bregan Jane to present the award for the students. Come on, let her hear you. Well, as we know, Bill, we're always looking towards the young one to come up with the trends. <laughs> No, I'm excited today to really pass this off to the future, and I am here to present the Student Pinnacle Award. And today, we have Interstice Desk by Jared McLean, ISFD for Appalachian State University. We have Delaney Lounge by Landon Bell Lane III, ISFD for Appalachian State University. We have Tori Consul by Deep Ellie, ISFD from Savannah College of Art and Design. We have Canopy Lounge by Adam Maloney, ISFD for Savannah College Art and Design. And we have Lamella by Samantha Foseca, please tell me I got that right. ISFD for Appalachian State University. And the winner is all of you, but Delaney Lounge, Landon Belling, the third ISFD for Appalachian State University. You are the future. What a great looking chair. It makes you want to curl up with a good book and try it out. We thought the design and the execution were flawless and appreciated seeing all the iterations in its process. The end result is an upholstered oasis perfect for any family. Well done. Uh, 
I have a lot of thank yous out there. My wife, Maysheen, uh, who supported me all the late nights I spent in the studio uh, building this chair. Uh, Richard Prisco and Cameron Van Dyke, um, and the design professors at App State are incredible. I had a lot of help and just and everything from them. Parker Marisich, you opened up your factory and to me so I could come in and, and build and learn from uh, the incredible team we have at OHD, Our House Designs. Uh, and Ralph Cook, the factory manager, he's the salt of the earth, one of the most humble people I know. He's uh, incredibly knowledgeable, just you know, guided me through making this piece. Um, I sit and read with my kids in this lounge. Uh, it's in my bedroom right now, and I, I love it. But uh, thank you all. Uh, before we go on, students, <clears throat> your future employers are all around you, and they are desperate for workers. The single most challenging issue for this industry in the coming decade is finding young people to come in to the industry. If you go home with fewer than 10 cards in your pocket, you have wasted this opportunity. So between now and the time we finish, circulate, mingle, and meet these folks. The furniture industry is full of some of the most wonderful people that you will ever meet. It is a great industry, and we will welcome you with open arms. That being said, I would like to present the award, the Greenleaf Award, and I will do that as soon as I find it on the page. Here we go. And our nominees for the Greenleaf Award, Porta de Sol by Bruce M. Schuttinger, P-A-A-I-C-I-S-F-D for Mozart, Inc. The Arc Console by Philips Collection Design Team, ISFD, and Nikom Potaton for Philips Collection. Origins Cocktail Table, by Chase Curlin, ISFD, for Olive and Wool Furniture. Pantheon, four-door credenza, by Chase Curlin, ISFD, for Olive and Wool Furniture. And Bowls, collapsible table, by Joseph Holmes, ISFD, for Joseph Holmes. And the winner is, should I tell them? OK. Bowls, collapsible table by Joseph Holmes, ISFD for Joseph Holmes. The fact that 100% of the materials used in this piece were recycled or scraps left over from other jobs, further reducing the environmental footprint, is impressive. The use of leather for the unique hinges is also remarkable. We commend the designer for his commitment to using readily available materials that would normally go to waste. This is as important as his ability to craft a striking, functional design that could be a mass-produced item. Hey, uh, it's Joseph Holmes, and I just wanted to um, thank the ISFD um, for, um, you know, again, like I feel like just, just being considered with these other amazing designers, um, amazing designs, um, and uh, also just for having um, this this Greenleaf category, I think it's really important. Um, as well, I think I should also say that um, I get a lot of support from this from my colleagues here at the university, um, uh, my colleagues on the sustainability committee, everything like that. Um, I think it's worth pursuing, and I thank you both for the honor, but um, also for um, the fact that you um, put this on and invited me to participate or, or you know um, but allowed me to enter so um, it's very intimidating to be around these people and designs that you really admire and I just it's a cliche I know but it's really honored just to be um, be considered so thank you so much
You knew we wouldn't get through the night without a Zoom call. So we have come to the final award of the evening, and I would like to introduce one of the most recent inductees to the Home Furnishings Hall of Fame. But before I do, creating suspense, at the end of our program, please, all of our honorees come up for photographs. We'd like to capture this moment for posterity. And now it is my incredible honor to introduce Mr. Bob Marisich, CEO of International Market Centers, and one of the newest members of the American Home Furnishings Hall of Fame. Did you all notice it's a full moon? Wow. Anyway, Wesley, man, you brought up DEI, and I'm gonna brag for a second about IMC, and I look around this room, everybody here can make a difference, and you're all part of what the future is, at IMC, we have 600 associates, 57% women, 37% people of color, and we're better for it. And this industry is going to be better for that diversity. And I salute you all for embracing that, that way forward. Secondly, and I just, when you get elected to a Hall of Fame, all that means is you're old and been around a long time. But one of the things that I've observed about the great leaders and the difference makers in this industry is they at one time were students, but they remain students through their entire life and their entire career. And so that curiosity, that courage, and that boldness is what will serve you well as you make this a career in, uh, in, in uh, your endeavors on the way forward. This is a category that's near and dear to my heart because, first of all, to do this, a major collection, you've got to have the sponsorship of someone with incredible resources to fund a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar effort to pull together objects, and, and many people here are creating great objects, but pulling those together so they embrace a consumer's need to live well or to live specially. And that is a very, very challenging thing. So I have a great respect for not only the designers that do this, but the companies that sponsor them. And if I can find the nominees here, here we go. Are we up on the video? Terrific. The Surfrider Collection by Otto and Moore, the design team at Otto and Moore, Otto and Moore ISFD for Hooker Furniture. Silhouette by Otto and Moore's design team, ISFD, and Bernhardt's design team, a collaboration effort for Bernhardt. Coastal Living Getaway by Dudley Moore, ISFD, Laura Nice, ISFD, Lenny Chapman, ISFD, for Universal Furniture. Lamoda and DeVita Living Room, Dining Room, Bedroom by Michelle Monavani for Caracol Modern by Caracol and the Cascade Collection by Archetype Design Studio for Hooker Furniture. And the winner is... The Cascade Collection by Archetype Design Studio for Hooker Furniture. Textured finishes and creamy hues with soft gold finishes adds warmth to this intriguingly sleek modern collection, giving it a down-to-earth feel. The sleigh bed with wood trim that curves from the headboard to the side rails to the footboard is a beautiful detail worth making note of. Other standout pieces include the pedestal dining table, the textile wrapped server, and a dresser with a cleverly reeded front. All the pieces work well together, but could also stand on their own. A uh, little bit of a surprise. So we haven't been up here too much. We're glad to be up here now. Uh, really proud of our team, proud of Tim and Jenny and Kevin and everybody that's involved in making these products. And so congratulations to our team. Mm. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. I know this is unusual for an award program. It's only 816. You're welcome to stay till 1030 if you like, just in keeping with the awards. 
Uh, on behalf of the ISFD, I'd like to thank all of our presenters this evening. I'd like to thank all of our nominees, all of our winners. I would like to thank our terrific keynote speaker, Bregan Jane. And thank you all for coming together. It is so wonderful to see you all in person. It is so wonderful to be back in the community. Welcome home. <laughs>